I mean, that area had been flooded every decade. The destruction and loss in Pajaro hasn't been forgotten in our communities. Today, Monterey County Board of Supervisors, they talked about the long-term recovery efforts that are underway for this underserved community. As Pajaro continues to rebuild, preventing another flood is a key point. KIUN's Austin Castro joins us now from Salinas. And Austin, what were some of the topics and priorities that were presented today by the Department of Emergency Management? to supervisors. Well, Veronica, Supervisor Glenn Church tells me that it's taken far too long to get this damaged levee finally up to modern standards. A new long-term recovery plan is looking to tackle not only infrastructure, but other impacted areas such as agriculture, housing, as well as the economy. The Pajaro community is transitioning from a short-term response to long-term recovery. On Tuesday, the Monterey County Board of Supervisors heard a presentation about what those long-term recovery plans could look like. We also have been observing a significant impact to health and social services, which are a bit less tangible. Um, to the economy, which is more uh, financial. The Pajaro Recovery Task Force will consist of six subcommittees tackling issues with housing, agriculture, the economy, and infrastructure, among others. But perhaps I missed uh, the, the, the comment about the uh, uh, progress of the Pajaro River, of the levee. That's one of the questions and concerns that people have. Long-term recovery is needed for roads that were badly damaged as well as homes. The county says $90 million in damage was caused to homes in the disastrous flooding. Businesses and other buildings suffered more than $30 million in damage as well. Well, first of all, the levee willy wasn't built, you know, to withstand as it should have. As, as I pointed out earlier, the, um, the levee you know, was not of the same quality we would build a levy right now. Monterey County also still has $20 million from the state for recovery efforts, which Church said could take six to nine months to be allocated. When asked about his message to Pajaro residents who feel frustrated. Well, that's what we've started to do in the last couple of years. That's where uh, the you know a joint agency with Santa Cruz County has formed. And the plan is looking to also add a disaster recovery manager as well as a community liaison to help support planning efforts. Reporting in Salinas, Austin Castro, KIOA News Channel 46. Staying on top of it so this type of disaster doesn't happen again for our people in Pajaro. Another long-term recovery plan meeting is expected in late August. The Board of Supervisors will again receive an update come mid-September.